hiring managers of Reddit. What's your favorite they were perfect until we googled them story? I was interviewing a much older guy for a similar position of mine. Everything seemed okay, and he was our best candidate. Before moving forward, I did a quick google search to only find out that he was fired from his previous job because of stealing $5,000 worth of computer equipment. My director hired him anyway. Well he's already got the equipment he needs. We should be fine. Everything looked good on her resume. She was very professional and enthusiastic in her interview and just had that thing. That self-starter attitude that made you feel like this girl is going to get crap done. Well, ran a background check and literally nothing checked out. She was not actually licensed in her field like she claimed and she had about a dozen priors for various white collar crimes and none of her work history or references checked out. I guess she was just hoping that her charisma would win us over and that we wouldn't bother checking up on her. I was a restaurant manager and the owner hired this guy as a chef without doing basic research, which he did a few times. Anyways, the guy said he had won several awards and worked with celebrities, etc. The guy was a total dong to everyone on staff. I decided to google him. First hit is a mugshot from a drug arrest. Then more articles. One about where he lied about getting a James Beard award from a previous restaurant he worked at. A comment about him owing 25,000 or something to his former boss. The only positive restaurant review he had was from 1990. I came in after the weekend to show my boss this stuff. When I learned he was fired the night before for exposing himself to one of the waitresses. Hiring private tutors to work with middle school students. Had a great conversation with a girl. She stressed how much she wants to be a role model for young girls. Basically exactly what we were looking for. Then I googled her and the first picture on her Facebook is her doing a line. A guy got hired at my work when I was in between being contract and permanent, so I never met him. Dude had just left a good teaching job with a quickness, was vague about his reasons for leaving for a temporary, lower paying job with less benefits. He was apparently super normal seeming and very nice, everyone liked him. Some weeks later he just doesn't come in. Find out that night shift was freaking around googling people and found out teacher dude had been arrested for having absolute loads of child pee. The background check hadn't caught it because he hadn't been charged, or maybe convicted, yet. Obviously that bit of information zipped around the company almost instantly and HR fired him immediately. He was in prison last I heard. I wasn't the hiring manager but my teammate was. A candidate came through that he and some other members interviewed and seemed pretty okay for the job until they checked her out. Turns out she was suing the company, yes, the one she applied for a job for, so my teammate ended up not hiring her. This kid, early 20s comes in for a job, seemed normal enough. Google him and he was wanted in another state for stabbing a saint. Burn her to death. I worked for a staffing agency. Guy is hired and comes in for background and drug screen. He has lots of priors, but he was working in a kitchen so we got the okay to continue the process. It wasn't until the drug screen that he gets a little nervous. I tell them that we are going to do a drug screen now, and he asks to put it off till Monday. Typically, we'd have to have to it that day so they could start work but this was like 4.45 on a Friday and we wanted to go home so we said yes. Monday rolls around and he shows up. He takes the test and it comes up positive for weed, coke, and some other stuff. We asked him if that was a surprise. He told us I do dabble in coke. But I thought this was a test for weed we politely said that we couldn't hire him. Pre-Google era but I think it fits the question. Family owned a trucking company. Literally everyone in my immediate family has or had a CDL. Mum's turn to take the newbie for a road test pre-hire. During the road test, they were involved in an accident. They were hit while stopped. The company was based out of Indiana. Accident happened in Illinois. Newbie gets arrested on the spot. Come to find out he has warrants that hadn't been out long enough for the background check service we used to get them yet. One of the warrants. Stalking a female dispatcher from the previous trucking company he worked for. Had a guy apply for an entry level post with us recently. His CV was okay, so we offered him an interview. Social media seemed okay too. He never turned up for the interview. A couple of weeks later, there's a story about him in the local paper. Turned out that he was living at the local boarding house. 
and was found in the kitchen one morning totally wasted, wearing nothing but a pair of socks. When a couple of women who also lived there tried to escort him back to his room, he got violent and assaulted them. Given the date stated in the paper, he didn't turn up because he'd been in jail at the time of the interview. His resume has now been added to the do not touch with a 10 foot barge pole section in our filing cabinet. I used to manage a group home for developmentally disabled adults. I was in charge of hiring the staff that we needed to make the house run properly. I saw a name come across my desk that I had to interview and I instantly looked them up. Turns out, this was a girl that had an obsessive crush on me from years ago, and on her social media, she still did. I was in a panic, because she was basically stalking everything I did, and I really couldn't back out because it was 5 minutes before the interview. She came in, and it was so weird, she acted normal. We interviewed in a professional manner for about 15 minutes, showed her around, and I thought, wow, maybe she has done some maturing and just let it go. Then we got back to my office. I started a sentence like, well, name, it's been a pleasure having you here and I, oh, no no no, we aren't done yet, you think you can ignore everything like you don't know what's going on I know where you work, now, I know where you live, and I'm going to keep calling. There was more she was saying along the lines of me telling her to kindly leave, but a phone call to the police, as well as a restraining order kept her away from work and my life. I hired a girl, she interviewed well. First day she threw up some red flags, but I figured I was misjudging or misinterpreting. People start missing money and one of my belongings disappears, which had never happened prior to her hiring. She was insulting everyone and making customers uncomfortable and I wanted her gone. Less than 4 full weeks from her start date, but didn't want to pay unemployment. Finally do a search arrest records in multiple states involving domestic violence and theft. She ended up saying she could just frick one of my barely legal employees so I fired her for harassment. Lesson learned. Check everyone out no matter how well they interview. I was hiring for our late night shift. Shifts ending at 2am 3am. And she was willing to work anything and looking for about 25 hours per week. This was absolutely what the company was looking for. She had mentioned that she was grieving her little boy who passed two weeks ago and needed to do something to occupy her time. She finished her one day of computer training and stopped showing up. Later in the week she sent me an email stating that she wasn't ready to come back to work like she'd thought, which was understandable. My assistant manager and I decided to look her up only to find that she had multiple GoFundMe pages set up for her sob story with different amounts of time that the supposed child had been dead for. Her Facebook was full of selfies and party photos. She ended up asking for the job back a few months later and we shot her down pretty quick. Where I work they hired a guy who was great at the job and a nice, quiet employee. His background check took forever to clear for some reason but it ultimately came back clean. Eventually he said he needed to take a day off for court, but he just never came back after that day. Upon looking into it, he had been found guilty of misconduct with a minor. Two counts. That must have been why it took so long to come back. They were unsure if it should be reported since it was pending. We had a near miss. One senior hire. We were talking about him and how something seemed a little off when we googled him. It was like he didn't exist at all and the odd super positive tidbit of information that was always a bit too much of a stretch to be completely believable. I mean one or two people saying you're the best thing on earth is one thing but this was like all you got were these sporadic and hyper. Manic observations. One of the junior members of the team pipes up at this point. She's overheard what we're talking about. Turns out she's worked the last two places he's worked and he's like a locust. He's extremely good at his job but an absolute nightmare in all other ways. Harassment. Bullying. Turning up wasted. He has a really niche skill set. There are always more roles than people to fill so he hops along. Bullies everyone out of their role in his team. Brings in his entourage to the point where almost anyone normal rajakuts because the atmosphere is so toxic. Then when HR try and step in he hits them with a constructive dismissal case and drags lawyers and so there's no paper trail. She said he'd done it at her last job and the one before. Glad we dodged that bullet. Slightly off topic but relevant. I heard we'd hired a new guy and so I looked him up on LinkedIn. Turns out he was just leaving a job where my father-in-law worked. I sent Pops a text and asked him about the new hire and opinions on him, and didn't get an answer. When I went for dinner the following weekend, I asked again, 
Turns out this new hire said he was leaving his former job to go and take care of his ailing mother in Africa. His former company said to not worry about it, take an unpaid leave, and come back when you can, however long it takes. I went in on Monday and told my boss. He didn't fire him immediately, but when he didn't perform well in his job after a couple of months, he got canned, and then proceeded to go back to his former company and tell them he was back from Africa. They did not rehire him. Okay not a hiring manager but at the time, I was a makeup artist that was flying to NY to work with a photographer. Right before the trip communication dropped off completely, he wouldn't respond to Instagram or calls or emails. A few weeks later, happened to catch his name in the paper, he had been arrested for planning and filming the assault of a toddler. Not the hiring manager but I was the intern responsible for checking references and running backgrounds at our company and this was in my first week where I was just learning how to go about things. This guy did great in the interview so I got the go ahead to run a background check and call his references. Something popped up in his background so I had to call the police station to figure out how to get a copy of the police report since whatever happened had just happened. I talked to someone on the phone and gave them a his name and who I was and what I was calling for. After doing so, whoever I was talking to didn't know how to go about obtaining the information on her end. She put me on a brief hold then took a call back number and promised to call me back with some info. Well, it's a good thing neither of us knew what to do because I received a call from the police department less than an hour later. An officer told me I'm really not supposed to be doing this but I just wanted to let you know that interview guy had been arrested for a carjacking a woman and that woman works at your company. He saw the company name and the guy's name and warned us. I'm so grateful too. Good resume former military we were going to call him in for an interview but googled him first turns out he was arrested for arms trafficking the report said he had stolen two or three small arms as well as a stinger missile system from the base he was stationed at the people he set up to sell the stuff to were undercover officers sounds like someone who takes personal initiative to solve problems and build business maybe could use more training I was an assistant manager at a doggy daycare center and our newly hired grooming assistant was working out well until my boss googled him. Turns out he was a convicted S offender who was found with thousands of child P files. He had been working there for a few months before we found out. Years ago at my previous company, a few co-workers met a young man interested in a software development position with us at a local trade conference and invited him to come interview with us later that afternoon. Said fellow eagerly provided the link to his blog. Top post was about being recently released on probation after a stint for illicit drug sales, and how his upstream supplier was kind enough to front him some startup capital and some new inventory to resume his little side gig, as his previous stash was allegedly confiscated during a previous visit by law enforcement. Co-workers and I decided to read a few more posts just to make sure we didn't confuse him for the wrong guy and inadvertently got the wrong link. Sure enough. A few photos and some older posts confirmed it was the same guy. We managed to get little additional work done in the rest of the afternoon between speculation as to when his apparent commitment to full public disclosure would land himself back in the clink and whether we ought to even mention having checked out his blog. We all had to try very hard to keep a straight face when he did come in for his interview. He actually was reasonably knowledgeable when it came to the job. And somehow we managed to completely avoid the question of his side gig and recreational pharmaceutical sales. We gave him an A plus for honesty, and a F for good sense. He was not extended an offer for employment. I interviewed a girl who seemed nice, then after passing her off to HR I looked her up. Her name came up as having been fired from the local PD for possession of, among other things, 150 grams of coke. I know this may not be totally relevant here but there was a time I was screening tenant applications for a room for rent. I had a bad roommate experience before and wanted to make sure I got the right fit for a tenant. I was exchanging emails with this nice lady who was eager to move. I explained to her the process and that a background check was needed to be done by our property manager. But I had this weird gut feeling about this lady so I googled her name and a bunch of arrest records popped up including domestic disputes. That was a no for me and politely declined her application. I share my dad's name, so when you google my name you pull up his exploits. Stuff like being arrested for having 7 semi trucks worth of weed in his driveway. Thanks dad.
knew a guy who couldn't get hired for anything, eventually found out he shared his name with a local registered child abuser. He's since changed his name and has gotten to get meaningful employment. Had a guy come in to apply for a dump truck job. Seemed okay. Very well spoken. Clean cut. Not the type you usually see applying for a job driving a dump truck. He told me he had a PhD in psychology. Had his own DWR addiction counseling business but his wife divorced him and he lost everything. So I googled him. He wasn't lying. But the story goes much deeper. Turns out his wife was cheating on him. When he found out where the boyfriend lived he snorted almost enough coke to give himself a heart attack and went to his house. Where his wife's car was parked. He shot 30 rounds from an AR-15 into the house and the car with them inside the house. Somehow he got off with only 6 months in jail and probation. He didn't get the job. Dude sent me his resume. But instead of sending it as an attachment he emailed me a snapshot of his resume he had stored in his photos. In the photos below it was him smoking blunts and drinking 40s with his friends. Also his email said I, 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 I saw this job on Craigslist. My number is X. I live in XXXX. Can start ASAP. HMU. We hired an ex-policeman as a technician in our trade field. He seemed willing and able, and he passed stringent background and driving backgrounds. He said he was wanting to be out of law enforcement because of the scrutiny officers were under and needed a career change. This dude looked like a cop. Anyway, he worked for a couple months and did okay at his role. Until we got to call saying he'd blacked out behind the wheel, crossed several lanes and mediums and wrecked his company truck into a tree and finally a house. We went to pick him up and access damage. The firefighters agreed it might be due to dehydration and no charges were filed. Then we googled his name. This officer had been charged with DUI in the middle of the day one year prior, for wrecking his cruiser in much the same way. On that day, paramedics discovered and he confessed to drinking whiskey all dang day during his patrol. Dude was an extreme but functioning alcoholic. Luckily he was still inside his 90 day probation period so termination was simple. He was so well spoken, had big dreams, was tech savvy, I was about to hire him on the spot. A google search pulled up a mugshot for identity theft. We didn't hire him. I was interviewing a chef for my business. The interview went great, and he had an excellent resume. Worked at some of the top restaurants in the world. Three Michelin star type places. Even did a short cooking test with some spare ribs and they were incredible. There was some stiff competition though so eventually we decided to look at everyone's Facebook profiles. One of his old profile pics was him at a Mardi Gras parade dressed as Pikachu with a big rubber dong strapped on. He got the job. You've been visited by the good sleep kitter. Upvote within the next 3 seconds and you will be blessed with cozy and restful sleeps. Thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.